Hi, and welcome back to Rediscovering RC. My personal journey as I venture back into the world of RC and RC racing after an almost 20 year hiatus. I'm your host Julio, and today I'd like to share an unboxing of something that you don't see very much on YouTube. And this is the Serpent 750 Natrix 110 scale touring car racing vehicle. It is a nitro powered car. This is something that Serpent has a long legacy of going back a little more than 40 years now. Uh, and even though in the past 15 years or so they've ventured into other scales and you know classes in the hobby, uh, this has pretty much been their bread and butter through the various incarnations of Serpent as it exists today. So anyways, let me get to this set up. I'll bring the camera in closer and let's take a look at an unboxing of the Serpent 750 Natrix. Okay, so we're all set up on the workbench here. Now, first things first, if you've seen my other video on the unboxing of the Serpent X20, a 190 millimeter touring car, then you will know that when you receive this package, it comes with an outer sleeve, not sealed in any way. This is exactly the way I got it. Uh, and also the box is unsealed as well. So right off the bat, just so that you know, this is the way it, you know, it comes. If you're missing any packages or anything like that, uh, you, you know, just be aware of that. Okay, so let's get into the bags here. So here we have bag number eight which looks like it's uh, yeah looks like the front suspension parts All right. we've got bag number five which looks like a shot tower uh, out drives these are yeah this is the rear the rear out drives along with the suspension parts uh, we've got bag number nine here we've got the servo horns I believe I got the aluminum horns. If not, then I guess I'll have to get that ready. This looks like the receiver box. Let's see, other, the other parts related to the radio electronics and the servo setup. Alrighty, got bag number seven, which has one of the drive belts. You got a roll bar. Uh, looks like an eccentric ring, a couple of bearings. Okay, bag number six. Pretty heavy, other roll bar. Got a couple arms in here. Uh, set spacers for the shocks, gears. Oh, these are probably drive, yeah, part of the drive gears. All right. Uh, we've got the rear diff assembly here in its own bag. Doesn't even have a number, just diff rear. Bag number 11. Standoff. This has, let's see, I mean, it's kind of stabilizer. Looks like this part of the steering assembly. Yeah, this could be yeah the bell cranks and whatnot related parts. Okay. Got bag 14. Here we've got the Syntax clutch assembly, shoes. Looks like the engine mount, spring. Uh, all right. Bag number three. Let's see, we yeah, got some yeah, drive gears. We've got sway bar here. Brakes. Yeah, the brake disc. Yeah, cam. Okay. Bag number ten. Which uh, oh, we've got the the handle. Probably a random. So yeah, these. Looks like the horn for the throttle. Uh, one of the radio plate components. Okay. Bag number two, which looks like it's got the mounts for the drive assemblies, a belt, bearings, it's early on in the build. We have bag number one. I guess this is where we'll start. Got some suspension arms here. Again, some little shims, probably for shocks. The pins for the arms. Oh, this is, yeah, this is probably for the caster adjustment. We've got all of our oils in one bag. Let's see, 900 CST shock oil, 80,000 diff oil, and 500,000 diff oil. All right. We've got our gas tank. Mm, pretty stiff. Wow. Bag number 12 here, which has a shock tower. This looks like, yeah, the 
front bumper brace, body posts. This looks like the rear shock mounts or the front. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think this is the rear shock tower and body mount locations. This is probably the front shock tower. Right. Bag 15A has a drive belt. Got some turnbuckles here. Yeah, this is probably the brake adjustment rod. Horns, yeah. Probably the brake assembly there. Bag number four. This is the two-speed transmission. We have got the, oh, this is the rear diffuser, which I think under competition <laughs> rules you're not allowed to use anyways, but comes in the box. Here we have the front bumper assembly, which again has a similar diffuser setup. Interesting. We have the radio plate. Bag 13, which looks like is the shock assemblies. Yep. Complete there. Uh, we have uh, the front diff, okay, which, uh, so I guess it's front and rear diffs, and I believe there's a straight axle option for this in the front. Uh, we have some silicone tubing, and a stiff, I may be getting some better quality stuff with that. We have an antenna tube, Just don't know if I'll be using that, but good to have. We have the chassis which is a work of art if i may say so myself it's incredible all of the <laughs> contours all the cutouts unbelievable and last but not least we have our sticker set all of our decals serpent and 750 which is another thing to note if you're not familiar with serpent kits they do not come with a manual what you do get is a USB drive that has a PDF copy of the complete building manual. This I think is great and maybe something that more, you know, some companies are already doing, but in terms of the package, I mean, you know, this is much more convenient. You plug this in. If there's updates to the manual, you can get them online. So it's always handy to have it. In addition to that, if I'm not mistaken, they also have like the kit setup sheet that's in there as well not to mention a blank setup sheet that's available. Again, all these materials are downloadable from the Serpent website. So that's good to know. Well, that pretty much empties out the box, so that will do it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Serpent 750 Natrix, 110 scale, 200 millimeter nitro touring car. You don't see too many of these on YouTube, so as a faithful Serpent driver, I'm only happy to oblige. Please do me a favor, if you like this content, hit that like button, and please, like, favor, comment, and subscribe. Any and all feedback you guys can give me will just help me towards delivering the kind of content that you want to see. Also, if you haven't noticed lately, I do have an Instagram channel now. Every once in a while, you might get a sneak peek of what's coming up for the channel, so I do encourage you to follow. Well, that'll do it for today. Until next time, I'm your host, Julio. Take care.